Hello and welcome to this Some CMS Pro Code Blocks video tutorial. So to begin, uh, Code Blocks was really designed for those who are a little bit more tech savvy, maybe even advanced, um, but you are familiar with HTML code, maybe some JavaScript or CSS. And that's really the, the heart of Code Blocks because uh, what this allows you to do is actually create little snippets or blocks of code that you could get uh, go ahead and reuse throughout your site whether it is on a new blog entry or a new page and this saves you time because once you create this code block it's always there and you can always just throw it in wherever you want so it's very beneficial to uh, have this feature or this tool um, but some that who aren't tech savvy may not even use this but we, we highly recommend uh, learning a little bit of HTML and, and taking advantage of this uh, great tool. So to get into code blocks, the first thing you want to do is simply just add a name of what you're going to call this code block. And I guess for this example, we'll just call this test uh, and hit add code block. So now we have a code block. Um, so before I actually start editing this, this code block, um, I want to uh, just make a quick note that we have another link here called new block so we have code blocks and then new block which new block is really you're going through the same process that you're doing here but you're going directly to the editor to do it so that that's the only difference some people may see that as redundant but I see it as a shortcut and so um, in the for this tutorial we're gonna go ahead and just click edit and the, now you see the difference is that when you click edit this is already populated for you if you were to click on new block this would be empty and you would have to actually give it a name to save or create this code block uh, and that's really the only difference um, so this is more of a shortcut and this is kinda like going through your manager of code blocks first so for this example we're just gonna type in a very simplistic code we're going to type in uh, this header tag and we're going to say hello world which is very common in the developer community and we're going to hit update and that's pretty much it it's really that simple um, and again th this is more so for a little bit of the tech savvy and advanced users sometimes you may even go to social media sites that give you a strip of code that you can reuse for your website and you can actually paste that in right in here and then just save it and reuse that code however you want another great thing is that we have these additional inserts now if you've been keeping track of our video tutorials uh, when you ever you create a gallery or a service list or a staff group or even feeds um, they basically are now uh, are able to be inserted into your content so now if I want to actually insert a gallery which in this case we have one called cars I just click on cars and now you see this little strip of code being automatically pasted into my code block and what this indicates to the some CMS Pro platform is that you want gallery number two displayed in this area so now if we were to save this code block or update it and we were to actually insert test into a blog entry or a um, page that we've created then once we see that that page displayed on um, the site it will actually display hello world first in this header tag and then it will display the gallery so there's a lot of really great tools and, and features here that you can really take advantage of and that concludes um, this video tutorial of code blocks